Hey everyone, it's Dr. Shalini Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center. And today I wanted to talk to you about a really common problem that we see in our practice called hyperhidrosis. So this is excessive sweating. And um, a lot of times patients just have excessive sweating from one part of their body. Most commonly, it's the underarms followed by the palms. And then we see excess sweating in the soles of the feet as well. And we actually have a sizable number of patients who also complain of sweating from their scalp, where the sweat just drips down their face or it's just constantly making their hair wet all the time. And then we can also see hyperhidrosis in the groin area. And honestly, we can see hyperhidrosis throughout the entire body. So some patients have actually presented to us literally saying that they sweat all over. And so this is a, um, issue that we deal with quite commonly and there are a few ways to try to address it. Um, some patients have tried things like acupuncture or neuromodulatory type of behavior to see if they some of the stress and things like that in their life can help to reduce the sweating. You can also get tested to make sure you don't have a thyroid problem or any other um, medical issue that may be leading to the sweating. A lot of times patients think that they will outgrow the sweating, but in reality, it seems like over 80% of patients continue to sweat um, and perhaps it even increases as we age. So um, the other procedures, if none of those other less invasive methods work, there are medications that can also help with sweating, usually the anticholinergic category of medications, but then also beta blockers and other categories which can be gone over with your dermatologist. Um, and of course, we're happy to see you in our office for that as well to go over the options. There are also topical products you can use such as Drysol, which is also very beneficial and um, quite effective for localized areas of sweating. Um, there is also a procedure called iontophoresis, which patients can um, do in the office or at home, and that can also help to control the sweating. But these are things that you have to do long-term. Medications also have known side effects, and so patients are often looking for procedures that will help them resolve their problem without having potential side, effect, side effects or negative um, effects from their um, treatment. So in-office procedures that we can offer for sweating, for localized areas of sweating, include Botox, which is actually quite beneficial, especially when injected in the scalp. Sometimes we'll just inject it along the hairline or the areas where the patient feels like most of the sweat is coming from. But in many cases, we have injected it throughout the scalp with really great results. There really are no side effects from Botox as long as you're not allergic to egg products. And if you are, then we can use Xeomin, which is a little bit more of a purified neurotoxin. So either way, we can treat patients um, quite easily with that as long as you don't have any of the known contraindications to getting Botox. Um, also, we can treat the underarm area with Botox, we can treat the palms, we can treat the soles, we can treat the groin area, we can treat uh, really any part of the skin where um, sweating is an issue, except for the face. You know, usually there we have to be careful with it affecting the facial muscles. So we can inject it along the hairline and some parts of the face, but not all over. Um, there is a procedure, however, we do called Aquabold, where we will um, take Botox, neurotoxin, along with some fillers, maybe some vitamins, even PRP, and um, sprinkle it kind of throughout the skin with a little prickling uh, needle, which helps to get some of these products into the superficial layers of the skin. And that can actually potentially be helpful for patients who have sweating on their face. Um, other procedures that we offer for sweating include Thermidry, which is currently really only indicated for the underarm area only. So it's a little probe using radiofrequency energy that disables the sweat glands. It could potentially be permanent, although if the sweat glands do regenerate, then you may need another treatment. It does seem to help with odor as well, and it shouldn't affect the hair follicles. Um, we can also use uh, a procedure called Sculpture, which is a laser. So it's a laser lipolysis system, which means that it, it's targeting fat cells. And that's what we primarily use it for is different 
parts of the body to help get rid of little bulges of fat. But it's actually also been shown to be quite effective in the underarm area, and it's a completely non-invasive treatment, it takes about 30 minutes, and it can disable those sweat glands really long term. So that's a really easy, um, pretty much painless way to get rid of the sweating as well. Um, and that goes along with liposuction. Actually, we can even do something called baser liposuction in the underarm area, which is targeting the fat, but also destroying the sweat glands at the same time. So these are a few of the options that we have. Um, there are actually also fractional radiofrequency procedures where we can use little needles that deliver radiofrequency energy to the sweat glands and are able to disable the sweat glands in that way. So um, these are some of the methods. There may be more on the horizon. Um, but hopefully this was somewhat educational and helpful to those of you who suffer from hyperhidrosis or have problems with that. Uh, we can start from uh, a simpler approach, medicinal approach, or just go to procedures, do a combination of that. So we're here to help you. Let us know if you have any questions, you can reach out to, reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching.